One of the things that we need to try to do related to food intake is to eat foods with high nutritional density. This means at least some of our food should supply the nutrients our body needs to give us abundant health. Now that's opposed to the health that I see every day in my clinic with an epidemic of patients that are fatigued, depressed, overweight, and multiple diseases. One of the key nutrients that tends to be lacking in the modern processed food diet that most of the Americans eat is DHA. It's one of the omega-3 fatty acids that are found in plant and animal foods. ALA is the omega-3 from plants, and humans can convert this to DHA, but the process is very inefficient. Only about 1% typically is converted. And because of this inefficiency, it appears that DHA must have been abundant in our environment in the beginning. In fact, if we look at the fossil evidence of the first humans, they developed along the East African Rift Zone, and this was on the coast. In this area, there was a collision of three tectonic plates, and the sea there thus would have been very rich in nutrients, including energy and minerals, and this would have resulted in abundant sea life. The fossil record does show piles of shells in the caves where humans lived. Now this probably means that the development of our large brain was due to this abundant seafood in the diet with abundant DHA. When I have patients that have one of these multiple modern diseases that are on the increase I dramatically recommend upping DHA in the diet. You might also want to up DHA if you want to get smarter or if you want to have more energy. And that's because DHA allows for electron flow in a quantum fashion that leads to what I call clean energy within our system, especially our nervous system. So what is this superfood I'm talking about? Fish eggs. My favorite are salmon eggs. Salmon eggs are a powerhouse of nutrition and they contain most of the essential fat soluble vitamins including vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin K2. These are generally low in the processed food diet. Salmon eggs also contain vital minerals including zinc and iodine. But most of all, they're abundant in DHA. In fact, fish eggs have up to three and a half times more DHA than the flesh. Now let me give you a little, a little pointer on how you can get these simply and less expensively. I buy them in one kilogram trays and they're frozen like this one. All right, what you wanna do is you wanna take a sturdy knife and while they're still frozen, cut them into squares. Kind of like when you used to cut up those extremely toxic Rice Krispie treats when you're a kid. Now, I don't think Rice Krispie treats are evil. It's the dose that makes the poison. You could probably have one Rice Krispie treat a year and it wouldn't take that much time off your life, probably only a couple of months. Okay, so I cut this kilogram of fish eggs up into 20 pieces. So now I have a portion of superfood for 20 days. This is great for the days when you're, you can't find fresh seafood or your schedule's really hectic or you succumbed and you're eating the sad diet that day. This will help out. Now once you cut these sections, uh, they would be then still frozen in a piece like this. You break it off and you let it thaw at room temperature or you let it thaw in the refrigerator if you're going to eat it the next day. All right, so one serving of the fish eggs would look like this. Here, here it's in a bowl and it's been thawed out. And just to prove to you that I really eat this stuff, take the eggs and I take a bite 
Now when they make these into roe, they add some salt. To me, salmon roe tastes good, but it's kind of weird at first. It grows on you. Getting enough DHA is extremely important for would-be mothers and pregnant women. It's also a great food for small children to allow them to maximize their brain growth and development. I've noticed toddlers, like with my kids when they were small, love fish eggs, and it makes a great finger food. Now, some primitive cultures had an ancient knowledge or intuition about how important this was. As an example, Weston Price wrote about the mountain natives in Peru and how they would travel sometimes hundreds of miles to the coast and collect fish eggs. They would then dry them on the beach and carry them back to the mountain villages. In the villages, the fish eggs were generally saved for the pregnant women and the young children. Now, the, to this day, you can still buy dried fish eggs in these mountain villages in Peru. Now, I know we have some traditions too. Uh, these are pertaining to the SAD diet, like we like making Rice Krispie treats and feeding them to our kids. And I think that's thanks to the mega food companies and the recipes they put on the cereal box. Unfortunately, today it's evolved into thousands of other products that are nutritionally bankrupt and causing our poor health, frequent obesity, depression, and our epidemic lack of energy that we see in so many people today. So come on, don't be shy, don't be lazy, be adventurous, eat something that can improve your health, try some delicious fish eggs. This is Dr. G. Thanks so much for watching.